Hey there! Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hey guys, welcome back to MMI. So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about the suspension systems in automobiles. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, what is suspension system? So suspension is the term which given to the system of the springs, shock absorbers and the linkages that connect a vehicle to its wheels. Okay. Second one, it serves a dual purpose. First of all, contributing to the car's handling and the braking. Second, it protects the vehicle itself and any cargo or ruggage which is stored inside that vehicle from damage and wear. So guys, the next one, this image shows us the suspension system which is located at the uh, your car's layout, in your car's layout. So guys, uh, we can see that in this image, this is the strut assembly over here which is provided at the rear wheels, okay. Uh, tie rod which is provided over here control arms are given provided also a uh, spindle is there at the rear end in the front end guys we can see there is a lot of uh, mechanical joints which is provided such as the steering gear mechanism macpherson strut which is nothing but the to uh, to balancing for the balancing purpose and for the turning purpose basically in this uh, automobile it is provided at the front wheels guys this is the steering knuckle arm ball joints stabilizer bar lower control arm so guys these are all the linkages which is known as the suspension systems in the automobile so guys what are the different suspension systems so guys the first of all the conventional system suspension system second one is independent suspension system third one is the air suspension system and the last one is the hydro elastic suspension system so guys let's check out one by one first of all convention suspension system so guys the conventional suspension system is nothing but the two wheels are mounted on either side of the rigid axle so when one wheel encounters a bump the both of wheel do not execute a parallel up and down motion so it gives the rise to the gyroscopic effect and wheel wobble. So rear driving wheels mounted on leaf axle suspended by the laminated leaf springs and shock absorbers. This is called the conventional suspension system. So guys in the conventional suspension systems over here we have this springs. This is the shock absorbers and the at the, this is at the rear end we have we can see over here. So guys, this portion is nothing but the leaf spring, which is also a type of suspension system. So guys, that was the conventional suspension system. Next one is the independent suspension system. So guys, the both front and rear, uh, rear wheels are utilized in the case of independent suspension system. Design incorporated in front wheels, the, if one wheel goes down, the other will do not have do not have much effect okay so basic classification of the design this is the basic classification of the design first of all it, there are uh, four types uh, depends upon sorry three types depends upon the classification of the design the first one is the mac person strut double wishbone multi limb so guys uh, <coughs> this is the mac person strut which is located at the front end like a front end or we can say of the front wheels of an automobile it is the most widely used front suspension systems in cars so it comprises of a strut type spring shock absorber combo which pivots on a ball joint which pivots on a ball joint okay on a single or lower arm the steering gear is either connected directly to the lower shock absorber housing or to an arm of arm from the front or back of the spindle in this case so when you steer it physically it physically twists 
the strut and the shock absorb absorber housing consequently the spring to turn the wheel so guys this is the mac person strut which is typically located at the front wheel of an automobile so it consists of this particular spring okay and a, a strut type spring and shock absorber assembly so that's why it's known as a mac person strut so guys the next one so guys the next next one is this uh, double wishbone suspension so guys the type of double a this is a type of double a or double wishbone suspension the wheel spindles are supported by the upper and lower a shaped arms so guys over here we can see this this is the upper and this one is the lower shaped a arm so the lower arm carries the most of the load in this case if you look head on at this system the parallelogram system that allows the spindles to travel vertically up and down so guys this is also the similar to this mac person strut type uh, suspension so the basically the design changes in this case whereas the purpose of both the sh suspension system is same okay guys but the over here we can call see here this joint which is upper and the lower the design gets changed in case of the previous one and the this one guys so moving ahead to the next one so this is side to side motion is known as a scrub so this side side motion is known as a scrub okay the next one is the same double a arm suspension so guys the type of double a arm suspension although the lower arm in this system sometimes be replaced with a single solid arm as see in this picture the spring shock combo is moved from between the arm to above the upper arm this transfer the load bearing capacity this transfers the load bearing capacity of the suspension almost entirely to the upper and the spring mounts the lower arm is the instance becomes a control arm so guys the last one is the multi link suspension so it is currently being used in audi a8 and a4 amongst other cars okay guys so as the name indicates this is the multi link suspension so the basic principle of it it is the same but instead of the solid upper and lower wishbone each arm of the wishbone is a separate item each arm of the wishbone is the separate item so guys this one is the uh, separate item the spring is the separate item the spring mounting and the spring housing is the separate house item over here in this case so guys these are the joints at the top and bottom of the spindle thus forming a wishbone shape okay guys so that's why it is known as the multi link wishbone shape basically the super weird thing about this as the spindle turns for steering so guys this vertical spindle turns for steering it alters the geometry of the suspension by torquing all the four suspension arms so guys the spring is separate from the shock absorber over here in this case so guys what are the advantages of that is independent front uh, suspension system so it is the bigger deflection of the front wheel no reaction on steering okay so if suppose the bigger deflection occurs at the front wheels there is no reaction occurs on the steering the greater distance from resisting rolling action front axle small stub improves the load holding tendency of tires minimum vibrations and what are the disadvantages of independent front suspension system which is the better shock absorber required okay and it is a expensive kind of suspension system so this is whole bo body of the suspension system is made from casting and later the forging so guys it is quite expensive than other the tire wear increases due to the transmission 
सो गाइज द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट रियर सस्पेंशन सो गाइज द लेसर अनस्प्रंग वेट इट इम्प्रूव राइट रिड्यूस द टायर वेयर ओके इट इंक्रीज इंक्रीज द पैसेंजर स्पेस सो गाइज एज वी हैव सीन इन आवर फर्स्ट इमेज देर इज लेस स्पेस टेकन बाय द सस्पेंशन सिस्टम सो दैट्स वाई इट इज इंक्रीज मोर पैसेंजर स्पेस सो रियर विल रिमेन्स स्टेबल सो गाइज वॉट आर द डिसएडवांटेजेस द डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द रियर सस्पेंशन इज दैट इंक्रीज कॉस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड डिजाइन स्टेयरिंग एक्शन इज नॉट प्रॉपर ओके गाइज सो दैट वॉज द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस सो गाइज दिस इज द जॉइंट विच इज नथिंग बट द ट्रांसफर्स सस्पेंशन सिस्टम विच इज शोन सो गाइज नॉर्मल यू कैन फाइंड दिस ऑन द रियर सस्पेंशन combines the independent double wishbone suspension and the lift spring okay it involves one lift spring mounted across the vehicle and connected at each end to the lower wishbone so that the center of the spring is connected to the front subframe in the middle of the car there are still two shock absorbers mounted one to each side and the lower wishbones wishbones so guys the next one is the air suspension so guys the it comprises of the compressor supplying air to air tank supplying air to air tank which is in this case pressure maintained such as 5.6 to 7 kg per cm square so guys and the air bags on each wheel as load applied air bags compressed actuating the leveling valve okay so air from the tank fills and compressed air bag and hence raise the level of the frame air from air bag gets released and load on the chassis decreases so guys this air suspension layout is shown in this image this is typically consist of all the units and all the joints consisting comprises of the air suspension system so guys uh, <clears throat> over here we have got the front and rear so air spring leveling valve air spring is again over there so this is the whole guys air suspension layout we'll see this in the another video okay air suspension layout so guys what are the advantages of air suspension so guys air suspension this maintains the constant frequency of vibration and whether the vehicle is laden or unladen that is vehicle is loaded or unloaded the constant frame height is maintained okay it helps to de reduce the load while the vehicle is in motion that is a dynamic loading as the spring rate variation between the laden and unladen weight is much less it gives a smooth and comfort ride of the vehicle it the stiffness of the system increases with the increase of deflection so guys the common air suspension problems such as the air bag or air strut failure so that are the problems uh, common air suspension problems so first one is the air bag or air strut failure so due to old age or moisture within the air system that damages them from the inside from inside the compressor failure okay so primarily uh, primarily due to the uh, leaking air springs or air struts the compressor burn out or may be caused by the moisture from within the air system coming into the contact with the electronic parts so next one is the dryer failure so guys in that all air suspension system the these all are might be failure in the compressor might be failure in the dryer so dryer which functions to remove the moisture from the air system eventually becomes saturated and unstable to perform that situation so these are the guys the common air problems basically next is the hydrolastic suspension so guys as your vehicle is continuously moving like uh, your the wheels are going up and down wheels adjust themselves as per the your the level of the ground or as per the obstruct or uh, obstructions in the ground while a uh, while in motion so guys a system where the front and rear suspension systems were connected together in order to better level the car while the driving this is known as the hydroelastic suspension so guys the front and the rear suspension units have hydroelastic displacers one per side such as these are the interconnected by a small bore pipe each displacer incorporates a rubber spring so damping of the system is achieved by the rubber walls basically guys so guys this is the hydro elastic displacer okay 
so when the front wheel encounters a bump the piston moves upward okay and pressuring the fluid to enter in the rear unit the hydroelastic was eventually refined refined was into hydro gas suspension so guys the hydro gas suspension is known as the hydro pneumatic suspensions as well the difference is in the displacer unit itself okay the in the older system the fluid was used in a displacer unit with a rubber spring cushion built in okay so with hyd hydra gas the rubber spring is removed completely the fluid still is exist but above the fluid there is now separating membrane or diaphragm and above that is a cylinder or sphere which is charged with nitrogen gas the nitrogen section is what has become the spring and damping unit whilst uh, whilst the fluid is still free to run from front to the rear units and back so guys this is the hydroelastic displacer and the hydro gas displacer is shown over here so that is the difference basically so guys this is the helper helper spring which is also shown over here so which is directly mounted on the main springs basically so it is take care of the large variation in the spring load that what the blue one indicates this is the blue one is the helper helper spring guys in this case okay so during the light loads only uh during the light loads only the main spring is active and the load increase the particular fixed value both the springs becomes active so uh, this is the uh, industrial representation i mean and this one is the diagrammatically shows this is the so guys this over here this is the air assisted helper spring over here the actuator is fixed and the leaf helper spring so guys thank you for watching my video